to give the best of it but it was coming undone oh every choice filled with regret till the night we were done till the night we were done it's the second time of trying to listen but feeling so misunderstood every word and action misfigured my promises no
É desse jeito, é desse jeito Só leva chifre quem não faz amor direito É desse jeito, é desse jeito Só leva chifre quem não faz amor direito Só leva chifre quem não faz amor direito E mais um
Hello and welcome back to the ECBI Rams channel. My name is Ryan. I'm a member of the Rams stream team. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, tonight we're casting our Smash team competing in the 2024 ECAC fall season, spring season, excuse me. Uh, before we continue, did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime account and it's linked to your Twitch, you get a free sub switch subscription to any twitch.tv channel? That's pretty lit, huh? So if you can, we invite you to use that free subscription on our ECBI Rams channel to help support our Rams. All proceeds go directly to the esports program. Tonight, I'm joined by Ultima Ray. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Thanks for the introduction, Raiden. As I said, my name is Ultima Ray, and I am a former member of the Super Smash Bros. team. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Before we get into the action, we would like to take a minute to thank ECPI University Rams sponsors, HP Omen and Game Fuel, with this quick video. Welcome back to tonight's stream, everybody. Tonight's match features our ECPI Rams versus the Randolph-Macon Yellow Jackets. Now, if you're a current student at ECPI University and you'd like to try out for the Rams, please go to ecpi.edu slash esports slash tryouts and follow the six easy steps to schedule your tryout today. Thanks, Ryden. We have three ECPI players taking the field today, and first up is Hyrax. Last season, they played a mean fox, but you may see some Rob play this season, too. Hyrax is going for their bachelors in mechatronics. And next up, we have Blue Legend Arrow, our new player this season. You can expect to see Sora or Inkling when they're up. Blue is going for their associates in electronic engineering. Finally, we have Windrift. Windrift was our Joker player last season and has decided to pick up Sephiroth this season. Windrift is going for their bachelors in business administration. All right. How do you feel about today's matchup, Ultima Ray? I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, this will be my first season watching from the sidelines instead of playing, and a couple of the players I played with last season, they were already really good, so I'm looking forward to see how everyone's progressing as the time goes on. Same here, same here. I saw I saw a lot of uh, Fox from Hyrax last season. I'm excited to see him again in action. Uh, Blue is fairly new. Uh, I watched him play Sora last week. He was doing very well. So I'm interested to see him play some Inkling, so we'll see some of that tonight. Um, and of course, uh, Windrift, you know, used to, used to seeing him play Joker, but I'm excited to see him play some Sephiroth as well. Same here. I saw him play Sephiroth a couple of times, and he was really good. So looking forward to see how it's going to be in action, in-game. Yeah, Sephiroth's a very interesting character. I like I like the way he plays. It takes a lot of, a lot of skill, a lot of patience. For sure. All right, and here we go, folks. We got uh, first first matchup is going to be the opponent is using Byleth, and we have Hyrax using Fox, his classic. All right, let's see what happens here. Everybody's testing the waters right now, seeing what seeing what they can get away with. A lot of the Fire Emblem players, they are they're really good when they have been those players for a long time. Oh yeah. But, our Fox player here, Hyrax, he's he's got Fox down. So yeah, he knows he knows how to play Fox like the back of his hand. He's definitely racking it up right now. Yep. Great thing about Fox is Good. he is really quick with those dodges, really quick to get back in there, get back out as he needs it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, good edge guard there. Oh, unfortunate. 
Ooh. Good try to get back up there. Unfortunately, he's not able to recover. Coming in with a quick, swift back air. He's trying to capitalize on those damage numbers as fast as possible. There we go. Right, great up yes. smash. Very nice. All right, all even now. Fox is trying to trying to even up the damage. There we go, exactly even. It's like he's trying to play a little safe, but at yeah, the same time, yeah, he's playing a little bit more him. reserved. Mm -hmm. Still racking up the damage though. Yeah, that sword's got a got a good amount of range. He's trying to close the gap. Keeps trying to attack from the top and gets. Gets shut down every time. I think he's going to change it up a little bit. There we go. Nice combo. Violet's character is pretty good. Nice dodge. Yeah, the character playing Violet definitely knows what they're doing. Nice dodge. A lot of neutral play right now. Everybody's high, high damage numbers. They don't want to take a hit. Open up that combo. Like, nice. He can just. Good yep, up. There good we up go. Air. He can just. Great up air. Off the map. Now, now, now his goal is just to put as much damage in as he can while trying not to get hit here. Really oh, unfortunate. High. Good Ooh. combo from Byleth there with the uh, sword and into the bow. Yep. Yeah, Byleth is a DLC character. One of the uh, characters added after the game was released. Hyrex is definitely figuring out a combination that works for him for Byleth. It's like, yes, as for long sure. as he keeps her off the map, he can rack up that damage. There, there it is, that go. up smash. That's what he was looking for. Great finisher there. Right, excellent first game we saw there. Very tight, very tight match between uh, the opponent, the opponent, and uh, our high Rex. Yes, it was very nice. What do you think he about that? Def he definitely adjusted his strategy very quickly, which is a great skill to have in this game. Mm -hmm. Got to be able to adapt on the fly. That's for sure. A lot of people exactly. using the same characters can have a lot of different play styles. That's for sure. Well, it's definitely good to have that range of play styles, especially you don't, you never know who you're going to go up against, how they play. So mm -hmm. Just kind of sit back a little bit for maybe a stock, see how they play mm -hmm. and adjust as it goes on. Yeah, very, very well done by Hyrax there. And GG's to the uh, opponent as well. Yeah, definitely. So we got what, one life left? Hyrax does, I believe, yeah. Yes, one stock left. So, one stock versus the opponent's three stock. Interested to see what the opponent here is going to be for Hyrax. Yeah, I am interested as well. I wonder if they're going to pick another light fast player or might switch it up and go with one of the he the heavier characters. I think they'd probably be better off going with a heavier character against Hyrax because he's, he's very good with the movement and the quick, um, you know, Button presses. I mean, he's he's lightning fast with it. So uh, if they if they pick a heavier character, he'll have a harder time, you know, knocking that character out of the stage, especially with his uh, signature finishing move, which is the up smash. I agree, but on the flip side of that, there's a chance like with the heavier characters, if he can keep them off the map like he was trying to do with Byleth, then they're not going to be able to recover quick enough. Very true. Very true. They're going to have to kind of weigh their options here. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're doing right now, trying to figure out what the best character they can use against him is. They've oh, already they've already had the, the benefit of seeing how he plays, so they can kind of gauge their choice based on that. And that's where that adapt comes back into play. Mm -hmm. They can try and gauge it, but all he has to do is change his play style up again. Exactly. Adaptability is everything. Match. Exactly. So it looks like 
the uh, the stages that we're going to be selecting tonight are going to be obviously some, some battlefield stages. The next one coming up is going to be a Smashville, actually. Oh, the classic. I like that stage. And we got another Fire Emblem character. Like We're going to have a Roy. Uh -huh. Roy is one of my OG favorites. I'm excited to see this match. I am as well. See how they play Roy. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off even and get to the right stock count here. There we go. And emote to initiate. There we go. Let the battle begin. I, I'm yeah, Roy's say... gotta be really careful. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna see a say... lot of shielding out of Roy. I would say Roy is a pretty good matchup against Fox, though, because he's got the speed, but he also has the power. Agreed. Definitely a good choice. See if the other player Very... has it. Yeah, almost out of shield there. Very good neutral game being played right now. And it's safe. And it's safe. No one's committing too hard. Nice combo coming in there from Hyrax. Nice recovery. Racking up that damage. Good air dodge. Nice little spot dodge there. Good smash. Ooh, that that's gonna be hard hit. to recover from, I'll tell you what. Yep. Oh yeah. you got it. I know I know from all, all the experience with Roy, like you get knocked a little too far, that recovery is uh nigh impossible. It takes quite a bit of skill to be able to recover efficiently with him. Good combo there. Like or he's keeping him on the ropes right now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ooh, good, good uh, neutral air. Keep him off the map. Ooh, Ooh great smash. Ooh. At least uh, Irex was able to take one stock off of him. That's great for our next uh, player here. GG's to both players. That was a great match. Great match. Roy, like I said, Roy is a good matchup against Fox. You mm -hmm. can't deny it. No, for sure. The combination of the speed and the power, I mean, I would say the main downside to Roy is, is that recovery. His recovery yes. is not great. But, yeah, he's got to be really careful not to get hit too far out. Yep. I guess we'll see who goes next. First, Fox has got you got the he's got his dash to get over, and then his up B to get over even further. So. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Looks like next up, we're gonna have. Uh, it's, it looks that his name says boy, but um, I'm assuming it is um, Windrift. Sephiroth. With Sephiroth, yeah. All right. Next match is coming up in just a second here, folks. Two sword characters. All right. Let's see how All right, it goes. Sephiroth. I love the sword battles. For sure. They're always the best. Big fan of the sword battles. <laughs> Only thing is, Sephiroth's a bit slower, but his power will make up for it, so let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. He's got some insane reach, too. Mm -hmm. That sword is long. That's part about him. Playing, playing it very safe right now, both players. He's trying to see if he can land a smash, it seems like. Yeah. Ooh, nice and get out. Ooh, good slash there. Nice. Very nice. That was unavoidable, pretty much. It has to be one of the for all strongest moves right there. Great counter. Nice. Very well timed. Read his opponent very well. Roy's gonna try and at Come least back. take one off here. 
like just trying to speed it Let's up. Let's see if he can manage to stay alive, yeah, and, and keep those three stocks. That'd be huge. Nice. Good shield coming in from Roy. Roy's gonna try and successfully edge guard here if he can. Oh. Oh, couldn't get him in the combo quick enough. Good. Gotta be ready for that. Nice shield. Ooh, and there it is. Unfortunate. Good, good hit coming in from Roy. One stock left. Take this stock down. He's still right. sitting good. So all, uh... Oh, his name actually didn't change. All, uh... Windrift needs to do right now is just make sure that he doesn't die again and should be pretty good. Yeah, if he can just land at least one shield counter, I think he'll have him. Right, about now? No. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he's trying to go a little more aggressive. Yep. We got a shield there. Yep, smart. That one hit. Sword battles are epic. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have to shield a lot in the sword battles, that's for sure. Oh, snap. Great, great over B combo coming in from Roy. Ooh, nice, oh, nice new player. And edge guarded. Oh, oh, no. Close. He got up and shielded just in time. That would have been Ooh. it. Ooh, nice back air. Trying to edge guard, unsuccessful. Both high damage numbers now. It could be anybody's game or anybody's stock. Ooh, there it is. The nice, the counter. You can recover. Good recovery. Nice. nice. Got him with the back. It was the back air, I believe. Excellent. Very nice. GG's. All right. So, was Sephiroth able to get out of there with two lives, I believe? Yes, he still has the two. Close, but he still All has right. them. So now they have three stocks left, and we have a grand total of five, two on Sephiroth and three on our last player, Blue. So we should be, uh, we should, I don't want to say anything too soon, but should be sitting pretty here, provided uh, they have a good match. I don't know, um, we'll see. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, Sephiroth, he, Windriff is an awesome player, whether it be with Sephiroth or whether it be with Joker. I mean... Mm -hmm. That the other team, they have a, they're gonna have a tough battle if they want to come back. Oh yeah, they got an uphill struggle, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Curious so, what character did you play when you up. were on the team? Um, my main was Pyro and Mithra. I'm also ah, a fan of nice. the sword characters. I used to play a lot of the Fire Emblem characters as well, but once Pyro and nice. Mithra came out, I, I just couldn't change from them. They're so Who do you like better, Pyro or Mithra? So, personally, I like to balance them. They have the perfect amount of balance. And Mithra, she's got the speed. She can get in. She can get out. She's really good at um, keeping people in the air. With Pyra, mm -hmm. she's got the power. So, she can land those final hits or rack up the damage she's, very easily. Yeah, she's got those home run hits. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it makes people so mad with her flame sword hits. It's just, it's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the spinning flame sword of doom. Yep. Or with her, um, is it a, a B? She jumps into the air and yep. then slams down. And comes yep. down and smashes. Yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty deadly. Had a lot yeah, of people I used to rage play on that one. A lot of the uh, Fire Emblem characters as well, like Marth and Roy. And then when Krom came out, I played Krom for a bit. I'm actually, I ended up landing on Rob. Oh, yeah? I don't know what it is, but Rob is just super fun to play. I have Some, not something really about played managing Rob. the. Yeah, something about managing that, that little. Um, I can't even remember the name of it right now. But his little disc, it's so much fun. All right, oh, so yeah. they got Joker versus a 
previous Joker player, who is still a Joker player, so this should be interesting. He's going to know all the moves that he can be, be, be thrown at him. Joker? Yeah. He'll be able to read the Joker pretty easily. I yeah, feel. he's going to be able to read every move the Joker's going to do. They, they don't know that, though. It's going to be un very unfortunate for the Joker player. But an advantage like. for us. Yes, exactly. Because he knows how to counter himself very well. Yeah, exactly. He's already got his persona from all the damage he took. Hasn't even Ooh. taken a hit yet. Jeez. Yeah, this is a uh, brutal first life here. There we go. Gets a couple kicks in. Uh, he's but he's well aware of what, what he can do to counter here. And there nice. it is. Very nice. Very, very good first stock there. <laughs> Sephiroth's playing it safe with the recovery there. Good shield. He's definitely reading him. I'll tell you what, that stabbing the sword into the uh, landscape and using that as a recovery is amazing. As long as the time is right. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What a smash. All right, looks like the Joker player is starting to uh, heat up a little bit here. Heating it up a notch. He's got his persona right now, so he needs to make the most of that, that's for sure. Oh, there he goes. Spoke too soon. I have a feeling Sephiroth's going to also kick it up a notch to take at least one more stock. Ideally two. I agree. We'll see. Joker's doing a nice nice job of trying to keep him off the edge there. Fortunately, he gets back on stage. Like Sephiroth's trying to keep nice the distance recovery. at least a little bit. Yeah, trying to make sure that he can pull that one more stock off. Oh. Ooh, Nothing nice try. Nice combo. Nice. Very nice. Very good read. Ooh, what a smash. Ooh. Excellent smash coming in from Joker. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to lie. I expected uh, I expected him to do a little bit better against the Joker player, considering he plays Joker all the time. But that Joker player, they knew what they were doing. Enough yeah. to be able to throw him off um, and make him unaware of, of what what he could be doing. I'm getting a connection there right now. Same. Technical difficulties, folks. Bear with us for a sec. Like they might have to remake the lobby. Uh, probably, yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. our players are going to have to remake the lobby, so we'll be right back after some brief messages from our sponsors. Stay tuned, guys. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get the match reset up here. Should be underway shortly. All right. So that match right there was, like I said, it was very interesting to see because um, Windrift's main character last season was Joker. And his main character, I think, overall is Joker. Um, and I think Sephiroth's like his close second. So that was a very interesting match to see. It was kind of like him versus his alter ego. But then again, he what did you think? he does he does main Joker. Um, I'm not sure how often he plays Sephiroth outside of Joker, but at the same time, the other character or the other team playing Joker, they seem like they definitely knew what they were doing. They they read oh, Sephiroth yeah. pretty well. They read Windrift pretty well. 
So it yeah, was a good definitely. matchup, though. Yeah, they definitely knew what they were doing, for sure. I was a, a very skilled Joker player. All right, the last match is our last game of the match is coming up here. We got Sora being played by Blue versus the opponent playing Joker with two stock remaining. All right, here we go, folks. The match begin. Curious to see how Sora is going to do against Joker. Yeah, Sora's trying to close the gap here. Sora is a really floaty character. Especially for yeah. how Joker is with just getting in. He's really sharp and direct. Yes. I guess Sora might be a, a good counter to that. Yeah. Got some, definitely got some good moves to counter, for sure. Like they're doing some back and forth right now. There, good, good use of Thundaga there. Very good. Oh, good, up. almost a great freeze right there. This recovery is just unfair, I'll tell you what. Sora's recovery is insane. It is insane. Probably got to be the best part about having that floaty aspect with one of the Smash characters. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ooh, great up nice. smash. Unfortunately, Blue is not, he did not put himself in the best spot there. Um, he's got a lot of damage to work with, though, if he can just get one solid hit in. I played Sora a few times, watched him play it. I'm not really sure if he has much power. Oh, there you go. Nice. There, there's your answer right there. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, as far as like smash hits, I'm not sure how much yeah, power he's is got... actually behind it. Yeah, he doesn't have a whole bunch, but he's got like a few moves that have that are heavy hitting enough to, you know, knock him out of the stage like that, but only at high percentages. Ooh, ooh, look at this recovery right here. Very nice. Went under the map. Very nice Wild. recovery. Damage is up. Yeah, there's that. Joker, there's that. There we go. Very Got him nice. trapped in it. A little too high on the stage, and that's that. Great job, Blue. GGs. GGs. What a match, huh? For sure. That was exciting to watch. All right. So that is our first match out of a best of five. So we are one and zero right now. Let's see how it goes in the four matches coming up. All right, we'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors, everybody. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back, everybody. We're just waiting for our editors to get ready here. Should be underway shortly. Yeah, it looks like the lobby's going down a couple of times, just trying to get over the technical difficulties. It happens. Gotta love technical difficulties. All right, so in that first match, what did you, uh, anything you wanted to point out, Chelsea? Or, uh, excuse me, Windr uh Ultimate right? You're good. I mean, it seemed like <laughs> both that. sides, both sides, um, they were reading each other pretty well. It was definitely good matchups. Um, I would say the other team is also adapting pretty nicely, just not as well as our team. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, it's uh, it was definitely interesting seeing, like I said, uh, Joker v uh, Joker main as Sephiroth. So that was that was my favorite part of the match. Just seeing how how he was uh, able to read uh, Joker. That first life, he was able to read every single move that Joker made. You know, and uh, I think Joker realized that and realized he needed to switch it up a bit for that second life. Yeah, I did. That was really that. that was a good 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 uh, good battle for sure. Other thing I'm noticing so far is it seems like both teams are using more characters that are lighter in speed. I haven't seen in mm -hmm. any heavy characters yet. Yeah, no, me neither. All right, looks like we're back, folks. We got uh, Sephiroth versus Roy. So I'm assuming we got, uh, yeah, this is another good sword battle we're gonna have here. I gotta love the sword battles. I think I think this is actually um, Windrift playing, not Hyrax. Just to ignore the name, because I've never seen Hyrax play as Sephiroth, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume. Yeah, I would... also the playstyle. I believe it is Windrift. I like the I love the music on this map. Such I a classic this map Dude. is. I believe this map is one of our team's favorites. <laughs> oh, Final Destination is so fun. I love Final Destination. It's so good. Yeah, I need to get back to playing some Smash. My, uh, my Switch went down on me. And I have not been able to enjoy some Smash in a while. Oh, great counter. I might need to play a few nice games recovery. myself. Ooh, got him on the ropes here. Can he make it back? Yes. It's almost even right now. Almost just gotta land that hit. Waiting for that. Waiting for that heavy smash. Ooh, nice try on the counter. Unfortunately, sets him up for a grab. Nice back air. Ooh, nice recovery. Ooh, tries to get the uh, dash in. Somebody, somebody, they're cheering for somebody. I think they're cheering for Roy. <laughs> He's trying to keep him off the map. Oh, very nice. There we go. Very, very nice. nice hit. That reach came into now play. Now he's got to play a dangerous game. Try and get as much chip damage in while not getting hit. That looks like if Roy hits one more hit, lands one more hit. For this stock. Yeah, Probably it might be it him. might be uh, out of the park. Oh, not with the over B. Unfortunately, that doesn't have enough killing potential unless you're really close to the edge and they have high high damage numbers. Sephiroth, he's he's Ooh, I'd nice say he's like a medium character. He's not light, but he's not heavy. Right, right. 
him with his speed. I mean, Ooh, his, unfortunately, able, oh, unable nice. to recover there. One of the big downfalls of Roy. Damage is definitely getting up there. Yeah, if he can. Oh, oh I spoke way is. too soon. <laughs> If we could get a perfect restock is what I was going to say there, but spoke a little too soon. <laughs> it been nice. He was doing great. Yeah, though, right? Especially with the damage yeah. racked up. Definitely. Just trying to counter. Roy's got him in a bit of a jam right now, so he can get out. Hey, Roy's Keeping him airborne. Be more aggressive. With a little bit on him mistimed on there on that uh, down air. Down tilt. Nice recovery. All even now. Rory's looking Rory's... for that that quick in. Yeah. Looks like he's dealing a lot of healing. Very nice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh oh, watch out. Nice counter. What a counter. Got low shield, but watch out. And here it is. Just get that hit. One more hit. There it is. One more. Nope. Pushing for it. Not, not a killing hit. That that would have been it right there. But that was a great it. shield from Roy. The Roy player is definitely, definitely fighting hard not to give him any kind of uh, opportunity to land one of these attacks. Definitely playing it safe, being defensive, but also trying to get those hits in quick. Yes. Got to. Oh, and he's got it. Very classic sword clash ending. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Very nice. And Sephiroth takes the first one. With one life remaining, I believe. One stock, yep. All right. There we go. So we're going to go into the next one with Sephiroth with one stock to start it out. Kind of nice to take out Roy up front, though. Roy is definitely one of yeah. the uh, stronger characters, I feel like. But that might be my bias. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely agree, though. Roy is hes a powerhouse. He's okay. hes up there in the tier rankings, too. I think he's in, in the A tier. I believe so. Then again, all the tier lists are kind of, you know, just aggregated data. But we'll, we'll just go with what they say. hes He's definitely an A-list character. At minimum, yep. Mm-hmm. He's definitely good. Am I only seeing sword characters tonight? I feel like, aside from Fox, we're seeing, yeah, we're seeing mainly uh, sword characters tonight. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I guess Sora is still a sword character, even though it's a key. Yeah. Still a, he still he yeah, uses it as blade. a sword. The key blade. I mean, let's be honest, though. If you look at it, it's just the giant key. I mean, yeah, it is literally a key. It's not in the sharp. Game, like, that it's is not how he sharp. Uses. <laughs> I mean, he uses it as a blade, and it works as a blade, that's for sure. But it's it's a key, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, just let him switch to one of his other key blades, and you'll get that sword effect. It's fine. There you go, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, looks like next match is going to be on Town and City. And we got another sword character. It's going to be Meta Knight. Meta Knight versus Sephiroth. That's going to be a pretty his, interesting matchup. His, yeah, I, I, I love... I actually used to love playing as Meta Knight. He's got, he's got some pretty cool combos. I haven't played with him as much, but... I played against him, and... His speed, it can be annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, he's fast. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very subtle taunt coming in from Meta Knight. Oh, excuse me, from Sephiroth. Ooh, it's stuck. Oh. <laughs> it's stuck on the side there. Sephiroth like... trying to maintain some distance. Not trying to let Meta Knight get in close with one of those combos. One of those combos can definitely rack up the damage pretty quickly. Oh yeah. Real quick. 
Bullshit. Meta Knight's uh, recovery is pretty decent as well. Oh yeah, Meta Knight's got great recovery. Looks like the Meta yeah, I mean, you, you notice Meta Knight's Knight. not shielding very often because yeah. it doesn't need to. <laughs> yeah, all he's got to do is dodge around it and get a hit. Up, get a hit in. Dodge. Get a hit. Yep. Or even better, get a combo. Yes. He's trying. You can see him trying to start that combo over and over again. Oh. But uh, our player is not letting him. Wind drift is not having it today. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got so some we got dodging the... back and forth. Meta Knight's trying to once again trying to get some distance closed between the two, but Sephiroth's not having it. Like Meta Knight's being a little light on his controls, just trying to make sure he can get around whatever Sephiroth throws. Yeah. Nice kick. Ooh, now Sephiroth's in the same spot, got, got caught in the same thing that uh, Meta Knight got caught in on the first life. Able to recover? Ooh, good read in the air. Nice smash Ooh. on the recovery. Excellent. Yeah, one and one. Got him one down to him. one. Can he do it with 116 Ooh. damage? Almost 117% damage. Can he do it to zero? See if Sephiroth can come back, take that last stock. That would be pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. I can see it happening. Oh, I can definitely see it happening. Oh, oh there we it. go. Great up smash coming in from the Meta Knight player there. Alright, and that match goes to Meta Knight. Alright. So now, for this match, we have one and one. So we have uh, another player left with three lives left. Or actually, we have two players left with three lives left. Yeah, it looks like we got Hyrax and Blue Legendary. Blue. Yep, we haven't we haven't seen Blue or Hyrax yet. So still got six lives on the board there, and they have four. Yeah, we're going to be seeing Sora or Fox or potentially uh, Inkling. I think I think Blue's going to stick with Sora. Unless we get the yep. curveball and see a Rob. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that is true. I love Rob. I would he's, be he's such a funny, to see goofy Rob in games. He's really good. Like He's got some really good um he's a he's a little slow he's really heavy but he's got some really good moves if you can pull him off it just takes a lot of a lot of unique like you have to time everything yeah that spinning top that, that thing can get you yeah it's very technical but that's why i like him a lot using that spinning top to your advantage you can zone very well make it so that opponents can't even touch certain parts of the map and if they try to you can get a free attack on them punish them for it yeah all right, here we go. Nice game coming up. We got Sora versus Meta Knight. Keyblade versus Other Blade. All right, here we go. And that's interesting. I haven't seen Meta. I haven't seen Meta Knight in competitive play in a minute. Man, I've seen Sora quite a few times. But... Yeah, so uh, Meta Knight's getting some good hits in. Like Sora's. Meta Knight's getting some great hits in. Getting lighter and quicker on his feet this round. Mm hmm. Nice smash. Nice. Thund into the Thundaga. Beautiful. Oh, nice. That was hit. nice. Very, very swift game. Good stuff, Blue. Very nice. 
All right. So that is six stocks down for them. And we only have three stocks down, I believe. So we got, we are it's sitting pretty right now. As long as uh, Blue can do some work again in this match, should be good. Um, I was about surprising to say, what are they I've, doing now? I've not seen him play before, but him with Sora, he's, he's good. Yeah, Blue, Blue definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, I'm Is excited to see him play Inkling or... whenever he decides. Oh, he's, he oh, got Inkling right. as well. But uh, I haven't seen him play Inkling ever, so I mean, I'm interested to see that. I have rarely... I don't remember the last time I've seen Inkling in competitive play. Same. No, me neither. That's probably why he's playing Sora. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Looks like the next battlefield here will be determined in just a second, folks. Going through the uh, map bands right now. What would your favorite I'll tell you map what. be? Honestly, the classic, you know, um, Hyrule Temple. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. I know it's it's a cluster, but it's super fun. Just a lot of action all over the map. Yeah. Brings me back to the OG Super Smash Bros. days, you know. Back when there was a, a little tornado that went up in the air. That threw you up in the air. I mean, I know that map's still in here, but I like the new Hyrule Temple a little bit better. Yeah. But it brings me back to those days. I'm not going to lie. What about you? What's your miss... favorite map? Oh. You know, I... This is only because when I first started playing, I was playing with large groups, so I really liked playing the... Um... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Hyrule... Is it Hyrule Castle? A large map. Three, gotcha. Two, what was it called? One. I can't remember if Hyrule Castle or the other one. Well, Hyrule Castle is pretty big, that's for sure. We got a Jigglypuff here. Both floaty characters. Good matchup. Yeah, very floaty. Very floaty characters. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that was a what a hit. The, that, that was the uh, sleep hit, correct? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> both light, both floaty, but I mean, they can land that hit. <laughs> Jigglypuff is. Ooh, Jigglypuff oh. made a mistake there. Tried to get another uh, sleep hit on there, but went to sleep right in front of uh, Blue. And Blue said, "All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock you out of there." Take that opportunity. Man, that was a that was a great start there too. Already got Julie Pub up to 44%. Nice try, Lizzie. Ooh, yeah, Thundaga, dude. That that right there alone is one of the most powerful tools in Sora's arsenal because you can catch someone off guard up there and bye bye. Especially at high damage numbers. And it's really good for pushing people towards that edge of the map as well. Oh, yeah. Again. Look at that recovery. Oh. Oh, nice. Jigglypuff's making Jigglypuff's making a mistake doing the sleeps. I know it's a powerful move, but that that's unfortunate. That's two times that they've gotten knocked out because of that. Bad timing. Ooh, Ooh nice. Back. Let's see who takes All right, it. Bringing it back. Stock v stock, one stock each. Right. Ooh. Oh, trying to do the sleep again. That would have been a mistake. We're trying to get that hit in. Jigglypuff's already sitting high on damage. J yeah, Jigglypuff oh, keeps man. trying to sleep. I don't think he's gonna he's gonna fall for it. There we go. Trying to use the Thundaga. Thundaga. There it is. There we go. Gotta nice. gotta know that was coming. That's nice. exactly what I was just talking about. We see it right there. Good job, Blue. Exactly. GG's to the Jigglypuff player. Very nice. I had a feeling he was going to use that to push him off. I had a feeling too. 
All right, we'll be right back after a quick message from our sponsors. Welcome back, everybody. What a match. Uh, we just actually found out it was best of three. So that is the match, folks. We won the first two matches. GG's to the other team. They did a great job. Uh, what did you think about the match, Chelsea? Or uh, I apologize. I keep calling you by your name. I apologize. Ultima Ray. You're good. Um, it, I got to say, pretty much every match, that, that whole game, it was... Just perfectly matched up the characters that were going against each other um they were reading each other very well both teams were reading each other and adapting and i i enjoy watching the sword fights a lot so that was fun me um, too and it seemed like most of the characters were also very light and quick so that just kind mm -hmm. of added added on to all of it it was suspenseful but it was good very very i like the very fast-paced play that the uh the quicker, lighter characters add to add to the game. And yeah. uh, we definitely saw a lot of that tonight. That is for sure. Yeah, I can. But uh, that is all folks for it. tonight. Yeah, definitely. No, it, it was uh, it was a, a fantastic match to watch. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Uh, join us again Wednesday night and Friday night for our upcoming Rans matches. Uh, thank you to our viewers for your support. And one last thank you to our sponsors, HP Omen and Game Fuel. See you next time. Right here, feeling like a sound gear driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my hair, going nowhere, I swear. Lying out on the run, dangerous, but it's so fun. Running, running. To my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run